Hello, Ice Cap fans inside Mile One Center in downtown St. John's, Newfoundland, Labrador. I'm Ice Cap's play by play broadcaster Brian Rogers with rookie netminder Eric Comrie on Ice Caps 360. And Eric, thanks so much for taking time to join us. It's, uh, it's Tuesday. It's going to be a big game tonight against the Hamilton Bulldogs. You've already got your feet wet. Baptism by fire on Friday night. Tell me about your thoughts coming in after Besco had a rough start. You had to come in and face the HL shooters for the first time. What was your mindset and how'd you feel? Uh, for me personally, just stop the next puck. That's all I could do and going into that situation, just focus on stopping the next puck and just having some fun. I mean, the crowd got behind us, we started to come back and that was a lot of fun and uh, unfortunately we couldn't get the win, so hopefully next time. Was that one of the wilder games you've ever been in, including minor in your junior career? That was definitely one of the weirdest games I've been a part of, but you know what, that's why it's fun. That's why hockey's always a fun sport because you never know what can happen. It's an unpredictable one. Yeah, you looked really good. I, I think, in all honesty, you held the team in the game in the second period. I mean, Springfield were, were beaten down the door. They had already had scored five goals in the first period. Then they came out firing 18 shots on you. So you got to field a puck early, and, and then did that help you in your cause? Oh, for sure. I mean, it always helps them get a couple bucks early, but they're a good team, and they did a really good job of generating traffic and getting shots through. But I thought our team uh, did a very good job. Uh, we have a very good defensive core that you can really tell they really good, do a good job of def uh, boxing out, keeping guys to the outside, and our, our forwards do a really good job of back checking, which makes it a lot easier for the goalies. Yeah, and of course the team bounced back uh, as you backed up Tyler on Saturday night. You got to really see what the team is all about and how resilient they are and how, how structured and, uh, and how good they are because then they came back and played a completely different game and shut down a very good hockey club. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, even the first game, you could see how resilient they are. Coming back from a 5-1 deficit, Absolutely. that is incredible to do, and we he came in the room and just said that's an excellent job coming back from 5-1. I mean, you got to be so proud of your team when you do that. And then coming out there and beat them, a very good team, 3-1, that's an excellent job by our team. We're a very talented team. Well, Eric, you look like you have so much upside, and you look great. You made a couple spectacular stops, in particular in the second, and, and you look very calm and collective. I think the early going, obviously, you got to have a little bit of the jitters and the butterflies, because you wouldn't be human if you didn't. <laughs> For sure. I mean, you always have a couple of jitters and butterflies. I mean, I watched my video of my game. I felt like I could still be even more calm, be trust my position a little more, and just let the pucks come to me a little more. But, I mean, that just comes with time and experience, and I'm really happy to be here, just so happy to soak up all the knowledge I get every single time I'm at practice, just trying to soak up as much as I can. Well, you've got a great career ahead of you, and you're with an excellent organization, a wonderful group, and hopefully we'll get to see you uh, perform a little bit more down the stretch here. And I know Michael Hutchinson will be coming back eventually, but uh, as you said, to soak up and learn and be here, obviously uh, this is a spot where you'd like to play maybe as early as next season. I actually cannot play here next season. I can't play here until I'm 20. Okay. Yeah. So two years away. Two years away, yeah. Two years away. Uh, but I'm ex really excited to learn from Hutchison. I mean, he's an excellent goaltender. And same with Besco. He's been incredible for me, just learning so much from him. He's got so much knowledge to pass on. He's a big goalie. He really takes a lot of net. Knows how to use his size well. And then Hutchison, I'm really excited for him to come down. I met him at camp, and he was a great guy. I mean, he's just an excellent teacher, an excellent goalie. Well, you're an excellent student. You're an excellent young man. And we'll just keep it going. an excellent goaltender, too. So have an excellent day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great day, you too. And for you Ice Cap fans out here, have an excellent one as well. With Eric Comrie, I'm losing my marbles. I'm Brian Rogers. Go Ice Caps. <laughs>